Yeah, g'day Mel. We've come to the end of McVicker Drive. That's just down from where we were. And uh, we know the authorities said it was on the border of the Adventure Park. We're literally standing at the entrance to the Adventure Park. Ollie's just panned up. And those flames, I mean, yeah, they, they look to be past the border, I'm sorry to say. That looks like, uh, I'm pretty sure I can see one of the chairlift lines. Uh, you can see the smoke pluming up around it, as Mitch said earlier. Um, a lot of concern on social media about this park. Of course, it was absolutely decimated uh, during the last fire in terms of uh, the tracks and the trees that people are used to riding through, a lot of damage, and then a payout to homeowners on top of that. Uh, monsoon buckets and helicopters coming in over the top, but Mel, uh, as I say, I'm sorry to say, it does look like this fire is, if not on the border, uh, certainly in the Adventure Park at this point, Mel, which is not great news for locals here in Christchurch, obviously. It's not, and thank you so much for your updates from there, Nick, and, and please do keep safe. Um, that was our News Hub senior reporter, Nick Truebridge. Now, Fire and Emergency New Zealand are calling for people to send photos or videos of the fire to them that would have been taken yesterday between 1.45 and 2.45 in the afternoon on the Port Hills. What they're wanting to do is find out any evidence that might suggest the cause of this fire. So send your name, your contact details and the exact time of any footage you have plus the location to Port Hills 2024 photos at fireandemergency.nz. That email address again, Port Hills 2024 photos at fireandemergency.nz.